Hi, I'm Tracy Radley and welcome to Transmission Tuesday Light Language Healing Activation, helping you on your ascension journey, coming to you from a new location in Australia this week. It's been quite exhausting to get myself here because I'd been doing some mass collective and um, galactic work leading up to it, which knocked me out for like a week. So I've needed a few days just to chill out. So apologies to those that have contacted me and I was a bit slow in replying. I needed to wait until I was recharged myself before I could get back to you. Now, as most of you would know, we're sitting in the energies right now of another full moon. So for those that aren't aware, the full moons are a little bit more of a trigger time while we're constantly being triggered to upgrade anyway just the full moons give us an extra push to release even more so from around the 15th of june till around maybe the 19th of june is another period where these energies are still there pushing us even more to lift stuff up lift stuff up from the subconscious get it up and get it out so just be mindful if you're experiencing more um motions or ascension symptoms physical um if your brain's going a bit overload and you're not sleeping this is all normal this is what's supposed to happen at this time as we're getting more stuff up and out so just ride the wave of it know it'll settle eventually and just be mindful of what you're doing and how you're interpreting and how you're acting with what's getting triggered for you um, and be sure that you come from a higher perspective of what's happening knowing that you're shifting and just observe others because they're also getting triggered to whether they're awake yet or not everyone experiences this energy on some form so being more in a conscious community you actually have the ability and extra if you want to call it power to actually look at what you're doing and how you're interpreting those energies and seeing are you acting out on what's getting triggered or are you able to observe and let it roll through this is what you can actually see and observe in others is they're getting triggered you can see this you know this because you have the conscious awareness of what's going on at the moment but are they acting out are they playing into their old patterns because they're getting triggered or are these people you know doing their best to act differently move through it not respond or not react like they normally would this is where the power comes through awareness and having personal empowerment over what you're experiencing choosing a different pathway of if this emotion's coming up and normally my auto response reaction is blur that doesn't work for me and i don't know that when you start to feel that come up and rise that that's the way you're going you need to be able to stop yourself and go hey hold on that doesn't work for me there's another way this is coming up for a reason what do i need to see what do i need to learn what do i need to change what do i need to do differently and you may also be finding that a lot of the tools a lot of the things that you would normally go for through the ascension process for comfort support distraction whatever it is those tools may not necessarily work for you because as you keep growing so do the tools that you need so what was safe and comfortable before for you to fall back into now doesn't work anymore. This is part of the journey. This is part of the expansion. You have to find new ways. They were part of the old coping mechanism. They were part of the old patterns. Now you have to be finding a new, a new way to move through these experiences with more awareness, doing things that are of more benefit for you on a bigger picture rather than the small band-aid solutions that you used to go to so just bear that in mind it's not just with you you've got to be able to step back and observe this in other people as well this is where you become the leader this is where you become the role model because you don't get caught up in the drama anymore you don't get caught up in the games anymore and especially around the full moons these energies um is when you do see people play out a bit more because they are pushed further out of their comfort zone their irritations those little buttons as you would know because i experienced them too and our role is to get them up, is to experience them, but then to release them and make them move in a different way than we have in the past, which held us back. So this is like, it's a wonderful time to drop a lot of baggage. A lot of it is subconscious baggage, but the stuff that we do know and that we are aware of, it's our call to action, it's our call to become the observer of what we do and how we act and how we speak, especially, because our words have so much power. So just be mindful, what are you projecting out there? What are you saying to people? What are you saying to yourself? I don't just mean the verbal conversation with the words. What's the self-talk that's going on? 
how much self-love and patience is going on in your own brain and in your own mind and how much reassurance is there saying hey I'm doing good you know I'm perfectly imperfect I guarantee for most of you watching this your brain doesn't do that 24 7 it might be a small percentage of the day that that actually happens you might find there is so much negative self-talk that goes on and through these periods it can come up stronger to catch yourself reassure yourself and bring yourself back because you're the only one that can do it okay I really don't know what I just said then it just came out of my mouth so hopefully it's of benefit to you um, I'm going to do a light language transmission for you and um, again this is direct communication with heart and soul um, no need for logic to be involved in this process at all um, a few people have mentioned to me about my hands and what I do um, with all the work that I've done on myself over the years and my journey I honestly would not wish on anybody to be able to do what I do um, I be, I'm able to weave in and out of the dimensions so while I don't consciously see it I I know it my hands just know where to go they know what to do they can work simultaneously on whoever watches this because we are all connected so with you that are the ones of you that are you know their gifts are just opening up you're becoming more aware you're becoming more intuitive you know these things just develop over time the more work that you do on yourself and if you're called onto this path you know you become dedicated to it my life has become dedicated to my own growth and transformation helping within the collective and the galactic and now coming here where you guys can see me this has been my journey for a long time now so just bear in mind like my hands are weaving my hands are moving they're not just flowing around they're not mudras they're nothing like that they're actually going in and working across you across the dimensions because you're not just this solid physical being okay i'm working in timelines i'm doing all this stuff and i just i just do it I don't have the words to describe it all so I'm sorry for those that like the logic but just allow yourself to have the experience of being connected and touched in the heart okay because that's exactly what I'll be doing for you right now so if you want to close your eyes open the heart I'm going to help you with some of the releasing to do with the full moon now or at any time that you you come across this video I feel guided to watch it again here we go Si ala se sam bagere san sale ke shanta su ala sen se la kasun te kara shante hi wala la san sala an salo la san se ito ta su ala ke san sa ito ta sa si i wala su ata san sa ito ta su ala san sa ito ta te wala sun sa ito ta sun sa il ke san sa si i la kasi ito ta sun sa il ke san se ito ta sun sa il ka sun ata te si wa ito ta sun se il ke san sa il ke san sa ite to ti wala ito ta su ala la sen su ta sen se su su ma ka sen se il ka sun sa i wala sun sa il ka sun sa il ke san sa wala sen se si wa ata te san sa il ke san se il ka sun ta shen se susa se wala ito ta san sa ito ta san sa he lo ka san ta hi wala san sa il ke san ta shu hala sen se hi wa i san sa il ke san ta she ito ta san se ito ta i la ka san sa le ta ta san se il ka san se si wala san san sa la ka san sa hu la la san sa su la ka san 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 sa sa se wala san san sa itu ta wala san san sa itu ha so wala san sa itu si wala itu ta su wala la la san sa san san sa sa mi itu ta san san sa e ke to san sa shin 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 sha la ka san te san su su la ka san sa sa le itu ta ta wala san san sa le itu ta san sa se wala san sa la ka san se shi 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 mi ki to ta san sa ma su sa sa le e e wala san sa hu wala san sa wala san ta san to ta san sa shen 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 shi i to ta san san sa sa si 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 i to ta san sa sa san ke to to ka da san sa si le ke da san sa sa le ke to ka da san sa i lo ka san san sa i shun ta san sa sa i ke da san sa si wala san san sa 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 hu la la san san sa sa e e lo a san sa se lo a san sa hu wala sa wala san san sa sa i to ta san sa sa i to te lo a san sa he lo a san sa sa se lo a san sa hu wala san sa su sa ma ka shun ta she lo a san sa hu wala sa 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 ma ke shun ta sha la yan san sa se lo a san sa si wala san sa si lo a sa su sa ma ka shun sa la ke shun ta su wala sa me o san sa hu wala san san sa i te te lo a san sa i to ta su sa sa ma ka shun sa se lo a san sa hu wala san sa he lo ka shun ta she lo a san sa he lo a san sa 
Okay, there's the transmission for you this week. As usual, if you've got any feedback or comments, just pop it below. Like, share, subscribe if you feel guided to, to help me keep paying these transmissions and this guidance and these vibrations forward to those people that may be aligned that you know of. Um, what else is there? I got told a message during that and I've forgotten. I'm just going to see if it comes back. Okay, there's a big one just coming in. It was um, trust in your guidance. Um, I said I think earlier in this video about having that intuition and knowing feeling and it gets stronger as you awaken further and do your work. Now to trust the guidance is not necessarily easy. Some things you go, hey, yeah, you, you'll know straight away and just do it. Others, there's hesitation, there's resistance. And your job is to actually move through and challenge that resistance. Challenge those fears, those limited beliefs of, I don't know, I don't have control. What's the outcome going to be? Where are the finances coming from? Because when you learn to trust the intuition, you also learn that everything is provided for that you need. What you need and what you want from a logic level are very different at times. I know that from personal experience, I'm in a high rise in the city right now um, and I'm normally ground level, peace and quiet. If I had a conscious choice out in nature, that's not for me at the moment. Again, I'm placed where I'm needing to be because my vibe is required here. Um, so you've just got to know that resistance is going to come up at times of when it comes to your spiritual journey or your self-awakening journey because you're getting pushed out of your comfort zone. But you've got to have a, a knowing and most of you would start to, to understand that you have a stronger knowing that says this is right for you, this is what you need to do, this is the direction you need to go. This is a course you need to do, this is someone you need to work with, this is a location you need to be. Something is there that's pushing you to say, get on with it. This is what you need to be doing. And there's a part of you that says, uh -uh, I don't know the answers. No, I don't know the answers. I don't, I don't have the finances. Where is the money going to come from? I don't know anyone in that location. What am I going to be doing there? No, 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 I don't want to do that. It's not safe anymore. Um, and what you learn to do is trust. Because when you listen to that inner message, that inner calling, everything comes together for you but you have to move out of the needing to know and the needing to control you know this is how i've been living for almost the last 10 years now so if some of you saw my posts yesterday like i was showing the contrast of you know a couple of the places i've been living you know from up in the remote himalayan desert mountains up in the monasteries there you know with barely anything and only an overnight bag um is what i arrived with i ran out of money I had no phone, there was no electricity, there was no internet, there's no nothing, yet I lived there for months. You know, things unfold if you are where you're supposed to be, doing what you need to do, you will be taken care of. Like I said, I'm saying this from experience, you know, I've, I've gone from having a corporate career years ago to setting myself up with the aim financially to retire young to walking away um, from it to fully volunteer since 2010 on my path and it's been um, challenging every level relationships finances everything to have you know all this debt and no income but my insides kept saying hey you've got to go here you've got to do this and I'm like well where is the money coming from how how am I going to survive how am I going to do this but I'm still here this is still how I live what I need turns up when I need it I just have to trust that where I'm supposed to be and what I'm supposed to do has a purpose beyond my comprehension and everything will fall into place to make it happen. And I know this is happening for a lot of you guys out there now, you know, that maybe there's limited finances or, you know, there's um, 
what's in the bank account doesn't match what you want to do. But you know what? It doesn't matter because if something feels right, it feels right. What you need to do is get out of your own way. Trust that feeling. Trust that knowing that going, I don't know how these things are going to happen, but it feels right. So it's got to turn out at the right time. And then let it be and keep getting on with your day, just having that knowing feeling at some point in time this can come together there is the possibility it can come together and not just put a yeah nah, not going to happen and block yourself completely because that's what a lot of people do and that's what I used to do too um you know there's so many aspects of you know learning to trust yourself but you've got to move through those fears and you know you don't have to do everything and dive in at once but there's a step that you will be needing to take right now you need to make a step I can feel it for a lot of you you're all getting shown something and it's not about having the end destination and reaching the end destination. It's just about doing something, making some type of change to step to it. You may take a step forward and, you know, you may then step back three times, you know, but you're making your way there. You're committing to your path. You're committing to the change, whether it's just an internal change or a physical change. It doesn't matter. It's learning to trust what feels right feels right and keeping the brain as much as you can out of it. The brain and the heart have to learn to work together, but the brain has to be the follower. It's got to be led by heart, higher self spirit. Then you take the action. Now for many of us, we've all learned, myself included, we go by the logic and this, you know, we don't listen to as much. Our role now as awakening ones, this comes first and then this follows. So they have to learn to work together but we have to move away from the limited logic and go the expansive heart, expansive soul. You know, there's so much potential in all of us that's not going to be realized if we keep limit living from our minds. There has to be a team effort. And the expansion that can come for you that's coming from the soul level is just phenomenal. When you allow yourself to really go in deep and do the work, follow that guidance when it comes up, follow that feeling. You know, we all have that knowing. Every one of us has it. It's whether we choose to listen to it. And sometimes we ignore it for a long time. And I know I've done that too. I don't follow my guidance all the time, you know, 100%. And then I go, yeah, yeah, I, you know, I should have done. You know, it's, it's work in progress because every time it comes up, it also challenges us with something. And we're not always ready to take that big step straight away. But even just recognizing, yeah, I do have that knowing feeling, but I'm not quite ready yet can just be enough to acknowledge at least that you have it. All right, so like I said, there's a lot of you right now that need to be taking a step. Whatever that step is for you, you know. You will feel it and you know I'm speaking directly to you when I say it, okay? So I'm giving you the okay and I'm giving you the reassurance, take it, but just let go of the outcome. Let go of how it's supposed to look. Let go of, you know, maybe all the fancy things. You know, sometimes it can come out absolutely wonderful, but sometimes the soul path that we need to take, some of those steps put us into darker places for periods of time, but that's exactly where we need to be. It's not that you've done something wrong. It's just that you needed to have that experience to bring more crap up and out. You need to become resilient. You needed to show, show yourself what you're made of. It's not about other people. It's about you. You develop your strength through the challenges, through the fears that you face. Okay, and if you can keep on doing this, you know, and sometimes it's every day this comes up. Like I know that. Um, I've been living it for a long time now. So I'm constantly looking at new stuff every day, changing the patterns, changing the routine, seeing what comes up from the subconscious. The thing is though, you're the only one who has the power to change this. The cosmos is coming in to make us do it. We have a choice to make it harder or easier on ourselves by choosing to follow our guidance or going against it. And like I said, it's trial and error. We don't get it perfect all the time. But when there's that core thing that's calling you, and like I said, there's a lot of you feeling it for something at the moment, trust it and take some type of action, please. Like I said, I can't tell you specifically what that is, but I can feel it and you can feel it too if you're resonating with this message, okay? All right, there was a little bit of a longer rant than I was going to have, but hopefully it gets to the right people at the right time that this is watched. Um, I'll be coming to you again, I think, from this location because there's work for me to do here in the city. Um, I'm personally, you know, not excited, excited to be in the city, but I am doing my best to make the most of it. I generally just stick to myself anyway and do what I need to do. So um, 
it's not about all the touristy things around. Like I said, this is normally places I would avoid, but it's where I'm supposed to be. So wherever you're supposed to be and whatever you're supposed to do, just go with it. See what unfolds because you don't know what gems are going to be there for you, what growth and expansion is going to be there for you. Okay, again, still ranting. So I'm going to close off. If you need private mentoring, um, if you felt that is one of your calls, please reach out. I do do that, but I only have like a certain amount of time to be able to do that because obviously for most of you, you know, I'm up in the galactics most of the time doing collective. I'm here doing, you know, grid work coding all around the place. So that takes up a lot of my time to work with people individually. You know, it happens when I can do it. So if you feel that alignment, please reach out. Um, and we'll see where we go from there. Details are below. If you like placing an exchange for this channel, if you're benefiting from it, please do so. It is certainly welcome um, to help me, you know, keep doing this. Because like I said, most of my time is actually not necessarily in this, in this realm. So um, I'm doing work elsewhere which doesn't necessarily pay the bills. So, so but if you feel if to, please do. If not, just pay it forward in your own way. Um, send in your love, send in your light, and catch you next week. Bye.